going on Dragon Ball Z fans? I'm Red Gaming here again once again presenting yet another Dragon Ball Super discussion here today and today we're going to be talking about the fall of Gohan. Now uh, let's look at things from a factual standpoint here. Now number one, Gohan's rep has gone down severely over the last few years uh, with the downfall of his evolution after Ultimate Gohan and if you don't want to believe me, okay fine, no problem. Take a look at this then will you? Alright, so he went from completely lobotomizing Cell in Dragon Ball Z as the first ever Super Super Saiyan 2 at the age of 11, destroying him with an earth shattering Kamehameha wave, to kicking Super Buu around to the point where Buu was doubting his own abilities to kill Gohan, to now being reduced to a college graduate who is married and on his way with a baby with no intentions of protecting his family or planet from ongoing dangers that dwell within the universe. Um, his powers are just cut in half. I don't think anybody can deny that he is a shadow of his former self and some of you people out there are satisfied with this. Why? I mean, just put yourself in his shoes for one moment. Yes. Uh, there is a need to always train and become stronger, the motive behind this, to protect your family at all costs. Um, in Battle of Gods, he was made an example of by Beerus, one kick to the gut is all it took to keep him down for the count. In Resurrection F, Frieza punched him in the gut and briefly stopped his heart and killed him until Piccolo revived him. So what does that tell you, you know, ab about Gohan now? Granted, we may see a change in Dragon Ball Super in the future episodes as the series progresses. Uh, perhaps maybe way later on down the road once they enter universe 6 but it still doesn't change the fact that you know he is now made out to be a secondary character to Goku, Vegeta, Beerus, Whis and stuff like that um, I understand he has responsibilities now as an adult uh, but his true nature of being a Saiyan warrior is still there it, it, it should never be taken away and the reason why I stress this so much is because like I said, I mean, go back and watch when he fought Cell, go back and watch when he fought Boo. Like, he, he literally put in work. He put in more work than anybody else. Uh, he was able to do to Cell what nobody else was able to do, and he was able to do to Super Boo what Gotenks and Piccolo and anybody else couldn't do. So, Ultimate Gohan, Gohan in general was, you know, made out to be primarily a main character in an essence where you actually cared about what his next move was going to be. Now, um, in Dragon Ball Super, we haven't seen that much. Um, I, I'm, I'm just really hoping hoping that they give him the benefit of the doubt for doing something very important at least one more time now granted yes there are going to be a lot of gohan haters out there some people actually might go on ahead and complain and say alex why are you stressing it so much gohan's not important i mean it, it's those kind of comments that actually ruin the community in essence because gohan is a very important factor if you look at you know how he grew up when he was a kid virtually when he was a baby goku knew right away that you know his son possessed powers unlike any other now some people might say, oh, well, it's just, you know, bad temper flares and he just gets angry and it increases his power and that's it. There's nothing, there's nothing special about him, of course. But, I mean, there is something special about Gohan because when he fought Frieza, when he fought Cell, when he fought Boo, even when he tried to fight Beerus and Golden Frieza, well, Frieza in an essence in Revival of F, he still tried. You know, like, you saw... You saw the spirit in his eyes that he wanted to continue, and, and, and that's what baffled me in both Battle of Gods and uh, Resurrection F was when, when he got when he got punched in the stomach by Freeze and got killed briefly, and when Beerus pretty much kicked him and he was just out cold for a while. So um, I understand the essence of power levels, even though granted sometimes power levels don't really mean shit. Uh, Gohan still stands as one of the strongest in terms of power levels, but I mean over, over the years, movie after movie. He, he, he was just, you know, d degraded in an essence. He, he was nerfed heavily. Uh, there's nobody out there that can refute that. I mean, if, if you still believe that Gohan is as strong as he was during the Majin Buu saga, you are on some freaking crystal meth, and I don't know what else to tell you, because you are smoking some good grass, right, my friend? I, it's just impossible. He is not the same Gohan. And, and the same thing goes for Piccolo. Piccolo is not the same anymore. He, he's been reduced to a freaking babysitter. How, how many Dragon Ball Z fans out there want to see Piccolo be a freaking babysitter to Pan? Nobody wants to see that. Piccolo Piccolo was an all-knowing, powerful Namekian, at some point even stronger than a Super Saiyan. And now, he's just made out to be a joke, just like Gohan. So, 
The only reason why I'm stressing this is because hopefully in the future, hopefully, uh, th th there will be some sort of cosmic event that'll cause Gohan along with Goku and everybody else to just push themselves a little bit beyond what they can do currently. Uh, even perhaps allowing Gohan to become a, 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 a red Super Saiyan God. I don't see why that, you know, wouldn't even stand out in essence because, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind seeing him as a Super Saiyan God. Granted, some people out there might say, no, no, we don't want to see Gohan as a Super Saiyan God. I get that. I understand what some of you guys may imply because I was actually reading a, a, a couple of your comments um, in, in, in the old videos and I remember there were a few people that completely like just tarnished Gohan's reputation um and, and and Gohan is a very credible character but now he has no credibility because his, his entirety his entire character is just pretty much useless but I mean I want to know what you guys think I want to know your thoughts and opinions I, I want to know your overall comments on on how you guys feel about the situation because again I understand that a lot of you guys have your own opinions on this some of you guys love Gohan some of you guys hate Gohan hey it is what it is it makes out for a friendly discussion so let me know what you guys think do you guys think he'll become a super saiyan God in the future? Uh, do you think he's going to step up one day and actually take the role uh, of a leader, or is he just going to kick back and allow his dad and Vegeta to do all the work? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Once again, thank you for watching. If you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe for all the latest news, information, and updates. If you guys enjoyed the episode, don't forget to hit it up with a like and a favorite. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more if you guys want to see more, of course. Now, um, again, I, I want to know your comments, your theories, your discussions, everything, your ideals on Gohan. Where do you think he might go from here i understand he's trying to be responsible chi chi is trying to do like the right thing by raising her son to be normal uh but there's nothing there's nothing abnormal about fighting for what you believe in just as in the cell saga when goku told his son you have to use the pain of loss fight for the people that don't really can't really fight back so that's what made gohan special so thank you all for watching once again long live dragon ball z and i'll see each and every single one of you super saiyan gods in the next episode take it easy everybody peace